So we met up with one of the dudes. <laughs> Cheers. And then we took the metro back to the hotel. So we're sitting here at which one is this? Montparnasse Van Venue? Oh yeah, Saint Michel. Wait, no. We are having a lot of ticket troubles in, in the Parisian metros. I just got a bunch of regular tickets. I'm not having issues, but yeah, a little pack of ten. It's a lot. It's more expensive, but if I'm not having these issues, I'm kind of glad I just went that way. I actually always like it when it looks like I'm gonna take a photo of someone and I take a video and they watch and see how long until they're like, okay, have you taken it yet? Are you going yet? I've got so is many, it, I've got so many videos saved in my computer, which you like. So. <laughs> oh, it's on record! <laughs> I've got loads of my friends, and like, because they think you're getting ready to take a picture, they're all like this, like, sorting themselves out. Uh, <laughs> it's a video of them looking proper, trying to... I've got so many videos, it's like, these we start taking pictures. We went back to the hotel and found a fondue restaurant that was on Yelp.com. But about then, I got really emo and couldn't stand waiting for too long. So I quietly disappeared from the group, went and ate by myself, and then drank by myself while waiting for them to finish. So this is the bar I've been sitting at. That's the beer I've been drinking. This sip goes out to Eric. Last time I was in Paris, I bought Newcastle and poured it out on the floor for you, a little for the homies. But um, I, I can't, I shouldn't really pour it out on the floor for this one. So I'm just gonna take a sip. That wasn't a sip. That was a man goal. That was because I love you and I miss you. I love and I miss all my friends right now. Actually, it's this is one of those nights. Fucking Paris. Yeah, the memories of this town kind of screwed with me that night. I don't know. If you know me, you know why that town kind of has some significance. Um, I can show you this video that I have that's all me ruminating about why I did that, but I'm like whispering and my shirt is off and I just look really whiny in it, so. I said, meh. The highlights are, I haven't gone in a big group like that in a while, on a big like trip in a while, and I think I may have been consciously avoiding being that group kind of guy. Um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, ad nauseum. The next day was better, though. Good morning. Yay. I feel a lot better today. Cheers. Right, so here I am in the Luxembourg Gardens. Ta da! And uh, I went to get food. And, uh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's actually quite amusing. We've got like an extra little bag inside the bag. That's the food bag. Voila! I got a Big Mac because there's really only like six options. It was like chicken nuggets, filet of fish, um, like the country style fish, royal, the royale, pretty much like your quarter pounder, and then the Big Mac. It's quite nice. It tastes just like every other McDonald's. I mean, yeah, this is definitely the first time that I have uh, had fast food in France, so Pop that cherry. <laughs> Finish the day off by dropping off the girls at the train station, and then I had this awesome story to tell. Here's the story. I went to go searching for a good copy of Les Misérables, um, Les Misérables de Victor Hugo, and um, I stopped at one of the little shops on the, on the quay, um, and uh, this guy. 
kept showing me all these really good 18th century literature translations, all first editions. And, um, we were talking for a little bit and he kept recommending other books. And pretty soon um, he asked me where I was from and where I was living. And when I said I came from Brene, he said that his wife was born there. And we started talking a whole bunch about how we both loved the same books. And, uh, this is his phone number, his name, his address, and his email address. And he told me the next time I came to Paris that I could have dinner with him. And he has two girls my age who maybe I would like to meet. <laughs> and uh, that I could stay the night in his place. If, if that isn't a, an example of not all French people are douches, I don't know what is. This is a picture of the guy. And this is a picture of the books. After that, I returned home on the train for a lot more of this. Anyways, so I've been collecting a lot more videos to use in a Bernay vlog, but there's really not as much going on here. Um, so I'll probably hold off on it for a little while until I have enough things to actually show you. So yeah, until then, peace. Paris, 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 que je te...